so in the previous lecture we have created this uh, docker image for this static site so we have the static site and we are serving the static site using the nginx so let me show you again so if i do the docker images so here is the image so that we are using to serve our all the html content using the nginx so if i run this image again using the docker run dash p 80 for my container port and 80 for so 80 for my port and another 80 for container port first we are just going to run this one image and so our image is in the running state so let me verify so uh, once again we are going to open the browser and type the localhost and colon 80 and as you can see that our website is working there is no issue but let's suppose if you want to change some of the headings here or if you want to some add some images or if you want to delete some image or if you want to just change only the headings let's suppose i want to change this heading okay so what i have to do so i have to just first i just copy this uh, text over here and home page is known as a index.html file so i'm just going to open this file over here that like the index.html and here i'm just going to set this test so i want to replace so create and sell and if i do search over here so if I paste, so as you can see that the text over comes over here like create and sell and let's add another text over here like create, sell and make money. Okay. So if I save this file, okay. And if I refresh this, so as you can see that nothing has changed. So you might be thinking we have made the changes in the file. But why the all the changes is not appearing here? So we have add this text over here like make money and we have also saved this file. Okay. So why changes is not seeing it here because of we have used the earlier old image. So which means if you have made any changes in the file. So after that you have to build the image again and after that you can able to see the changes. So let me show you again. So I have this image is running over here and if I close this one and if I refresh this, so it's gone. Okay. And if I build this image again, okay. So using the same command like docker build and I am building the image again. So everything will be same like the name also is same here. Docker build minus T and the image tag over here. So after that, I have used the dot for the docker file is available in the current directory. So I have to just press enter over here so our image is built right now so whatever changes we have made in our file it's automatically get updated in the docker image as well so let's run this docker image again and let's see if the all the changes is appear or not okay so i am just using only the docker run command over here and i am using docker run dash p 80 for my machine and 80 for uh, container port over here and i just want to run this image so if i enter it and within a second our docker image will be started okay so if i refresh this so as you can see that our text is updated over here like create sale and make money okay so our text is updated so whatever changes we have made in that file so it's automatically get updated but if you have frequently made changes in the file and then every time you have to just build the image again and if you build the image again and again so it can be headache for you so solving for this problem like the building the image again and again instead of we can just save the files and it's automatically get reflected to your image as well so you have to don't build the image again for this use case scenario we use the volumes here so what is the volumes so using the volumes we can able to connect our local volume with the docker container which means if you made any changes in local files okay so if i made changes in the index file or anything files it's automatically get sync with the docker container volumes so what is the docker container volume so it is the same volume over here so this is the volume and this will be docker container volume over here so if i made any changes in the current files it's automatically get updated into the docker container volumes so you don't have to build the image again so let's understand how we can attach the volumes so for that first thing I just close this uh, docker container over here and let me show you our application is gone right now okay so you have to just simply use the same command over here like docker run as it is like dash p uh, then we have to mention the port over here so 8080 then you have to use a flag called dash v 
okay so dash v stands for the volumes and then you have to use over here the dot so dot means for the current directory and we use the colon over here and then we have to mention this volume over here so what will happen so whatever changes we have made in this current context it's automatically get sync with this directory so because we have all the files over here okay then we have to mention the image id uh, not the image id the image name over here so like rohit marathe and nft dash website so let's run this image and okay our image is running okay and if i refresh this so here our image is running but one thing i have to show you so if i ju just go ahead again in the file and let's add another text over here like my name okay so i have also add another text over here and this time i am just saving this file okay and if i refresh this let's see the magic over here as you can see that it's automatically get the name updated here the text is updated without building any image so we have successfully connect our volumes so if you have made any changes on the go and if you save the files it automatically get sync with the docker container and for this reason volumes is very helpful for us so i hope you have enjoyed this lecture and see you guys in the next video